Welcome to Mind Flow Radio. Mind Flow Radio. We're your hosts, Jalen and Lamont McFerrin. We are all in this together.
Welcome to Mind Flow Radio. Mind Flow. Here we are. Here we are. And here's Monty. Yes, and she's Jaylin. <laughs> and we really like to discuss the mind. Yeah. And living we're, a better life. Yeah, and we realize how as we improve our minds, it just we we increase the amount of we increase our ability to create a better world yeah, for ourselves exactly. and for everybody, actually. It starts with us. Yeah. Let's evolve. Each one of us. People. We can do it. Mm-hmm. We're destined to evolve, actually. So we do have the universe on our side. Yeah. Actually. Yeah. Which in the universe is way more powerful than um, mm, any absolutely. kind of organization. Absolutely. Or, or political party or whatever. Or even humanity. Oh, yeah. This is, humans are, are one group of creatures on this earth. And yes, we have souls and yeah. we have higher intelligence. Yeah. But it's not all about us. <laughs> I like to... Uh, <laughs> you're yeah, well, well, I mean, our song was about uh, elephants, just yeah. saying, you know, and, yeah. and how elephants have souls, too. Yeah. You know? And yep. And, and it is our responsibility to live as wisely as we can and increase our maturity. Yeah, it's time with each waking to grow day. up. It's time to grow up, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> y'all. <laughs> So true. I'm into oh my it. Gosh, yeah. Respect for all humans. Yeah. And all life on this planet, and, well, you know, including yeah. the elephants. Yep. Let's protect them. Yeah. Protect them. Yeah. Protect them. Yeah. Protect each other yeah. by being wise and kind. Um, mindfully looking at everything. Mm-hmm. Versus... Seeing the good and the negative, and, mm-hmm. and then if we want to create change, let's. Focus on the good. Mm-hmm. Let's do that. Mm-hmm. Yep. Create positive change. Innovate. Mm-hmm. Create a new and evolved culture. Mm-hmm. So we were talking about uh, sharing a little bit about mindful addiction. How to use mindfulness to, to mitigate our addictive tendencies. Yeah. I would say, you know. And have positive addictions. Well, yeah. I mean, when I was in college, um, going to school for psychology, the one thing I realized, and this wasn't through class, but just through observation, you know, is that, wow, we are like super, we're creatures of habit, you know, and just having the right habits or the way I uh, framed it back then was having the Being addicted to the right things rather than the wrong things was like key to our happiness and to my happiness or to our, or to humanity's happiness, I guess. Yeah. So let's, um, I mean, we are, I mean, that's one way of looking at addiction is that it's just a super strong habit. Mm -hmm. I mean, we all have like super strong habits and we have these habits in our mind too we're addicted to certain thoughts yeah. we're addicted feelings. to feelings yeah well emotions uh, and attitudes well and just ideas mm-hmm. like we each have our own you know philosophy and a lot of us you know the our philosophy is like um just kind of dictated to us yeah you know might from be addicted to being told what's up yeah by the media yeah right <laughs> 
So. Well, so what's some positive addictions you have? Oh, um, uh, doing Tai Chi. Mm, totally. I, I do Tai Chi every morning. Mm-hmm. You know, I have been, well, I've been practicing Tai Chi now for, I don't know, near 30 years. Awesome. You know, not every, I mean, the last maybe five years I've been doing it every morning. Mm-hmm. You know. Yeah. But I have a lot of, you know, you know, addicted to that, addicted to yoga. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you're so much better at it. I'm I'm the yoga teacher, and he's way better at practicing every day. (laughs) I don't know. I practice my my things every day. I'm addicted to meditating. Um, I I would say that that addiction though is driven by the desire to see the outcome. Well, that's okay. Yeah, as long as we're addicted to the right things, you know. Yeah, and. I mean, let's face it, in our culture right now, a lot of people are addicted to just judging others, yeah. you know, and being hateful and, you know, et cetera, et cetera. And those are, I would consider, unproductive. And they're totally addictions addicted. because you yeah. get a hit of something. I don't know if you get a hit from of dopamine, but you I'm definitely sure get you a do. hit of adrenaline. <laughs> well, you do. And, and the adrenaline like feels good. Oh, I hate those people. Oh, I feel a little better. <laughs> You know, it makes you feel powerful for well, that moment. Well, it's a high, and you drop. You know, yeah, like right. You it crash only lasts and as long as the the hate or the the driven emotion, and then the crash happens. Yeah, you know? right. I mean, and it's a group thing. Yeah, you know, the people who are addicted to, let's say, hating one type of person. Like, let's even say, like, one political group hates another one. Yeah, what's so up you, with you that? Ha- you have your whole like. <laughs> Your team of like haters and like it's really obvious on Facebook, for example. <laughs> yeah, you know, and it's like, but that's really a a, a destructive addiction. Hatred mm-hmm. is, I mean, because then when we make a mistake, then we hate on ourselves. Mm-hmm. Hatred's a habit; it's a mind habit. Mm-hmm. It is. It's a mind addiction, and if we're stuck in that, a lot of that hatred comes right back at us. Mm-hmm. So, how do we get out of that habit? Yeah. Well, how do, how replacing. We yeah, right. Just, just with sheer willpower, creating a new path. Well, and being just the neutral witness to that habit. Mm-hmm. I mean, it'll never change unless we identify yeah. it. Yeah, it's always the first step. <laughs> I mean, yeah, just noticing our internal dialogue. Mm-hmm. You know, and if our internal dialogue is is judgmental or even the idea you're talking about facebook you know it's like yeah. that internal dialogue of well i want to know what's happening now you know like that that desire to get in the gossip you know gossip is really the bottom line of this addiction of facebook you know it's it's well, being a part of this group a group of gossip you know and and it's in the yeah. name well, of sometimes possible yeah. facts but you know facts can be uh, pretty much any side can prove their their side. Because well, yeah, they manipulate the numbers and yada yada yada. Yeah. And what what what's true? You know, it's like yeah, I don't know. You know, if you look at any kind of news, it's all spun in one direction or another. Yeah, I mean, it's like it's all really um, not very reliable. Yeah, I mean, uh, you can watch, and I'm sure everyone out there may or may not resonate with us, but you can watch CNN. They're talking about one thing. You can go to Fox News, see the same subject, and it's completely different. So which one's right? Is well, either of them right? Probably Is, not. Are both of them right? Like, yeah. I, I like to believe that there's a thread of truth in everyone's opinion. Yeah. You know, and that's why we get, so, we get so into it. We get so into defending that opinion because there is a thread of truth in it, and that's how we can back it up and feel okay yeah. about it. Yeah. But how do we find the truth yeah. if if you know our two main sources of news are completely polarized well and that's the thing i mean the truth actually doesn't come from the screen right the truth is like comes from getting connected with the present moment yeah you know and that's that's as close as we can get to like connecting with reality yeah here i am right here right now I feel my feet on the ground. I feel my heart beating. Mm-hmm. You know, my mind is yeah. clear. It, and I if mean, we it, have that state of mind, like you're saying, where it's just being present, being clear, being open, and and with that comes 
compassion, you know? So it's like a compassion yeah. for all beings. Yeah. And like what was going through my mind when you were talking uh -huh. about that is, you know, the conflicts across the world. Like I know America thinks it's all about America, but there's there's some serious conflicts happening around the world. And, and it's like we wouldn't know about those without the news or without Facebook. I mean, I found out about some things that are happening across the globe because of Facebook. But, yeah. you know, how would we, how can we send our good energy, our, our love, our, our hope for peace if we don't know it exists? And I guess you don't need to know it exists if, if you're doing what you say and you're like have that centered, grounded well, presence. Yeah. I mean, I'm not saying it's bad to know, but I mean, everything we see from the news, we need to take with a grain of salt and to consider anything from the news as truth, that's a mistake, I believe. You know, so we can kind of get a feel for one aspect of what's happening in the world through the news, you know. Yeah. But if we're really going to change things, mm -hmm. we're going to, like, do that by collectively, you know, culturally making a positive change. Yeah. You know, working together and, oh, let's let's, you know... Let's get some solar panels or... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well... Being part of the change. Yeah, and I, I think that part of the change, which is so needed at this time, is to get addicted to peace within yourself. Mm, like you know? that, yeah. And, and what does that mean? And it could mean turning off your screen. It could mean not engaging in a debate. It could mean that you just need some self-care right now. Yeah. Self-care is so important for grounding and yeah. centering. And oh, yeah. And part of that self-care is at least being moderate with your screen time. Yeah. And to look at, look at you know, all the time you spend on Facebook, that's an addiction. Yeah. That's a drug. Yeah. The screen is a drug. Mm -hmm. And let's be moderate with that drug. And let's not take it too seriously, mm -hmm. you know, and we might get all these dopamine hits, but then you crash and then mm -hmm. the end result is you're kind of confused and the mind is numb. It's kind of like, <laughs> it's not, know, it it's, doesn't it's feel like, very good. Well, I don't really know because I haven't done it, but from what I understand, it's a lot like math, you know, like you get that like, yeah, 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 you know, oh, yeah, and I then know. like. You scroll for too long and uh -huh. then you start to feel like you have a uh -huh. hundred bricks on your thumb, you know, and your brain is just like, uh, yeah, and right. then you just confused. get off and maybe cry, maybe scream, maybe yell at somebody. Maybe just you love. be depressed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> get be depressed. depressed. And, just have anxiety I mean, about whatever. How is that any different? Well, let's face it, depression and anxiety, they're, they're epidemics in our culture. They are. You know, and how... Let's 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 be moderate with our with the with our screen time drug. Yeah. You know, I mean that yeah. that's a big deal. It's like coffee, you know, like do you drink coffee all day? And I guess there probably is a lot of people out there that drink coffee all day, but wouldn't it be really great if it was just designated your morning drink? Well, I mean, you know? everybody's different, but yeah. I mean Typically, we, we just want to find moderation for us. Yeah, in every know, way. With whatever, every yeah. Way. And uh, does that include in your your positive addictions, like your mindful addictions? Like, Yeah, you, you want to be moderate. moderate. Oh, yeah. Okay. I mean, if, I, if I'm, let's say, a, a positive addiction is like riding my bike, okay? Sure. I, if, I, if I spend all day doing that every day, that's, that's not being moderate. And I would right. say it's not sustainable at that point sustainable i like that. i mean if i'm addicted yeah. to like lifting weights if i overdo it mm -hmm. i'm not moderate i injure myself and bam it's done mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. if i'm moderate sustainable i can lift weights for the next 30 years right you know that's that. the key yeah. man sustainability yeah uh -huh. and yeah like with anything you know your your nervous system can only handle so much before it, it wears out you get you really depressed or anxious yeah. or you know, have a nervous system. Well, our shut minds down. can only handle so much. I mean, right. our minds are 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 very durable, but they're delicate, mm -hmm. and they're very powerful. Mm -hmm. And let's honor our minds. Mm -hmm. Let's let's honor our minds and be moderate with our our screen drug. Mm -hmm. You know, just be moderate. It's not. It's not. You know, and part of moderation is taking a break every once in a while. Yeah, I you know? I personally. 
and sometimes I, I, you know, I am moderate in the sense of I don't, I'm not super strict on this, but I try, I've even set a timer for five minutes and I'll, I'll like, yeah. okay, I'm going to scroll for five minutes and I'll set a timer and I'm, I usually like come up with an excuse to do one or two more minutes, you know, <laughs> right. like, oh, I want to read that article yeah, now. Right, right. But, you know, I'm really working on... yeah. And I, I'll try to only look at it in the evening one time. Yeah. But sometimes I look in the morning because I feel yeah. like I've got five extra minutes and I want to spend it on Facebook. Yeah, know? right. And I just take it off my phone like every day, yeah. really. I put it back on. But I just <laughs> take it off my phone for 12 hours. Are so you it's getting not... good at putting it back on? <laughs> oh, you know that. <laughs> I mean, I have a little ways to go with being moderate myself with Facebook, but I'm working against it. Yeah. You know, I, I take it off and then it's not there. Well, I've taken mm-hmm. the news off permanently. I took the news off my phone, the news app, probably mm-hmm. over a month ago. And yeah. I remember the moment I took it off, it was like this relief. I was like, <laughs> oh. Yeah. I was like, oh, cool. So I have not, you know, even been tempted to put that back on yeah that's actually <laughs> yeah. i'm more addicted to the news app than i am facebook oh, okay so yeah it's like <laughs> i and that's you know i'll be like well i'm not on facebook <laughs> yeah right and then you know I'm 20 just minutes looking on the at news the propaganda app. yeah yeah but i i i just want to turn wrap this into you know our mindfulness yeah. tip for the week and i would enjoy hearing from any of you as well if you want to um, let us know your thoughts on this but how about you you sit down and you write you get a piece of paper out and you draw across the top mindful and mindless addictions and then put a put a line down the middle and and really just think about like what are mm. the mindful addictions that you have that support your health and well-being yeah. and then what are the mindless addictions that you notice the ups and downs that are you reco- you have to recover from right daily or weekly or you know hourly <laughs> well in, include just um, i you know i mean these are like it could be something like cooking good food mm mm-hmm. Or going for a walk. Oh, yeah. Or, you know, just um, sitting quietly for a few moments. Mm-hmm. You know? Breathing deeply for yeah. 10 breaths. Yeah. Or, I mean, like I we mentioned earlier, you know, just watching your thoughts. Mm-hmm. Being in that place of being the neutral observer to your own thinking patterns. You know, I used to, when I was young, I used to be like, oh, this is a movie. You know, and, and it Life. was... Yeah, like it is like this movie. is the coffee movie, or this is the pot movie, or this is the <laughs> watching my friends play drums movie, you oh, know. Wow, and like, oh, and so I would really, I I really was I already bent towards the mindfulness path because mm-hmm. I was already I didn't know that I was talking about metacognition, but it was like I'm watching this like a fly on the wall. I'm watching this like it's on a screen, and yeah. I'm, I'm just sitting in the theater, you know. Well, that's true. I and, mean. Yeah. Our lives can be like the most fascinating movie oh, there is yeah. if I w- we see it that way. I will literally go sit out on the porch with a bowl of popcorn and watch the squirrels. And you've you've seen me do that. You've yeah. you've had some popcorn with me. <laughs> I'm like, this is the life movie, you know? Yeah, yeah. And if we pay attention to the life movie, we begin to notice really amazing things. Yeah. That we would miss otherwise. Yeah. I mean, subtle things, beautiful things, Mm -hmm. you know. Totally, because we could, you know, have our mind wrapped up in, in, you know, dealing with the Facebook come down. But, you know, there's like the beautiful colors of green all around you sitting on the porch or or watching a family walk by and all the kids are happy and, you know, it's fun living in town and, and just seeing people walk by and enjoying their life. So that's that's my hope for all of you this week. And we really appreciate you being a part of our tribe, our we mindfulness do. tribe here on Mindful We Radio. got this. We're going to change the world. We are changing the world. Yeah, yeah. day by day, we moment got by universe. moment. The universe you know, is on our side. Notice your movies, which ones are good for you. 
Yeah, notice your thinking are. patterns. And, mm-hmm. you know, and then make that decision. Oh, does this pattern, does it benefit me or not? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then you can work against it. And if you want to share with us or share with your friends, you know, this activity and see how many people you can get involved in it. And we are social creatures and we need each other's feedback to heal and grow. And that's just the truth of it. And if we stay in isolation, we stay stuck. And it's, you know, in in Buddhism, they call it the Sangha, you know, the the spiritual community. And the tribe. Yeah, we need our tribe. And so we encourage um, the, the, communication the conversation and that's what we're doing right now and i hope that you have a mindful conversation with somebody this week on on your mind movies or just energetically you know just working on on being more mindful and then we're all connected that mm-hmm. way mm-hmm. Whether we're we talk shifting or the vibration not. of our world yes, when we're mindful we are. we are we're connecting with all the other mindful people we're connecting with all the the people in in caves meditating and yeah. retreats, meditating for days and days and days. And when we're mindful, we're connecting with that energy. We're yeah. we're uh, engaging in it in a way that it's like strengthening that vibe. Yeah, and the more we can engage in that vibration, the less the negative, hateful vibration even affects us. Right. You know, it's and like we almost transcend. Yeah. Transcend absolutely. the hate. Hate and is a heavy, yeah, low vibration. Yeah, it is. Whereas that metacognition is is lifting up above it and watching it, mm-hmm. you know, and and that means that the vibration of metacognition itself yeah. is higher, you know. And then that if is. you can find the peace, that's even higher. And and energy is reality. Yes, let's not kid ourselves. Yes, if we're gonna, what, the way we change the world is we change our energy. Mm-hmm. You know, as as a Culturally speaking. Yeah. We yeah. got this. So be in touch thank with you, us you, or you, your you, other you. mindful tribe mm-hmm. and uh, send in much love and compassion as, yeah. as you face your healing. Indeed. And let's let's get to that place of just higher vibration and unite on that realm. Mm-hmm. And we have one more Beyond song. Beyond words, even. Sorry. No, that's all right. <laughs> we have one more song for y'all and... Uh, if you feel it, you can join in. And, and this is basically a live recorded show that we're sharing with you every week. Uh, please subscribe if you'd like to get notified on the next one. But um, we're trying to be regular for our folks who who are using this as part of their weekly regimen of mindfulness. And, uh, and we love seeing our tribe grow. Peace and love, and it's growing. Yep. And the we tribe. appreciate you. We know that we're all in this journey together and we're all walking each other home. So uh-huh. enjoy this next Thank song you. and share with your friends. Yeah. Peace. Mindflow Radio. <laughs>
to crumble, to pass, and turn in the compost and fertilize the ground that we seed and grow into a new world. May we be blessed with the sight and the compassion necessary to evolve. Thank you for your presence. You've been listening to MindFlow Radio. You can support MindFlow Radio on Patreon and get exclusive content access. Big gratitude to Lotus Head for their mindful music, keeping us in the flow. A shout out to our sponsors, Integrated Mindfulness Institute. Online visit www.imi.earth. For ideas, questions, or comments, contact us by email, connect at imi.earth. Many blessings on our health and peaceful evolution. 
We are all in this together. <laughs>